kale fan here and I hate reading. Why would I waste my time staring at words on a page when I could be playing stupid Nintendo games? I haven't played Wii Play in almost a week. What if I forget what the title screen looks like? Reading a book can take hours, weeks, maybe even months. Do I look like I have that kind of time? Wipe that smirk of your face. I have a life. See? Hey, I have a package for someone named Scott the Waz fan. Ooh, that's me. Well, here you go. I hope it's a lifetime subscription to virginity. Yes, it is! The Scott the Waz archives, or as I like to call it, what you bought if you were too cheap to buy the Monopoly set. Look, I just can't afford it, okay? I don't get any tax refunds. Why don't you get any tax refunds? I absolutely adore this thing, which is why I'm gonna spend the rest of my time bitching about it. I can't play Mario with this thing! The Scott the Waz Archive book was created for the 2021 charity Bonanza in collaboration with PixelEmpire.com. YouTuber Scott Wozniak woke up one morning and decided he just wanted to wipe out sick children from the face of the earth. He decided the best way to accomplish this goal was to sell a bunch of merchandise and donate the profits to charities that benefit sick children. See? Who says gamers can't change the world? Don't answer that. The charity bonanza was an enormous success. The event started in November of 2021 and by the time it ended in February of the next year, donators had blown far past the original goal and had raised more than $475,000. According to the website, the book was expected to ship anywhere from late February to early March. Well, it's not here. Maybe late March? April? May? Bluth? My copy didn't arrive until May 30, more than six months after it was first announced. That's longer than it took to develop Mega Man 7. But who cares how long it took to ship? It's here now, right? Time to find out if this book is good for anything other than propping up my Wii U collection. That's not a good sign. Right off the bat, the controller, I mean the cover, feels great to hold. You can tell this is a really high quality item, which is notable seeing how most of the profits went to charity. The grip is solid, the page turning is buttery smooth, and there's absolutely no input lag. Popping this bad boy open and where do I start? There's no table of contents. That's ridiculous. A book without a table of contents is like a video game without an instruction manual. Oh wait, honestly, I'm a little surprised at just how little I have to say about the contents of this book. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's got absolutely everything I could wish for. It's got behind the scenes pictures and anecdotes, it's got interviews with the cast, and it has beautiful artwork, some of which was created exclusively for the book. One of the coolest things, in my opinion, is how there's a place for some people to shine who never got to be in the spotlight before. You get to hear from cartoon and stop motion animators, the creators of soundtracks and songs, the designers of the logos, the artists behind posters, and so much more. There's so much here, and it's all so fascinating to me. What's that you got there? Oh, it's this behind the scenes book about a show called Scott the Waz. Looks pretty neat. I wonder if I could get my hands on one of those. No worries, I'm sure you can find a copy on eBay for a reasonable price for a price. Yeah, so the event is over. So unless your pockets are deep enough to start a salt mine, if you missed it, you missed it. But there's a charity bonanza every year and who knows, maybe the archive book will get an updated comeback. Well, it turns out I really do enjoy reading after all. You hear that, Madden 08? I don't need you anymore. I have books to keep me company. <gasps> a circle? I hate circles!